I've been lucky in my time to make some great railway journeys, but few has been as easy or as quick as the one that I've just done. Just over an hour ago, I was in London, and now I'm in the beautiful Lincolnshire countryside. So come with me on a visit to Grantham and see that this historic gem offers great business opportunities and away from work, marvellous quality of life. Grantham has been hitting the national headlines recently and for all the right reasons. The Sunday Times placed it at number 12 in their top 20 list of best commuter towns to the capital. The paper also picked out Grantham as an emerging property investment town but it was one of only five golden triangle areas in the UK. The town is part of the South Kesteven District Council area, which was also named as one of the best 50 places to live in the 2013 Halifax Quality of Life Survey. It was one of only six districts outside the South to be selected on a range of criteria that included residence health, life expectancy, earnings, employment, crime rate, traffic flow, weather and broadband access. And to round off the accolades, the daily version of The Times also placed Grantham at number 13 in its list of the 30 best places in Britain. Grantham was awarded growth point status by the government in 2007 and ambitious plans are starting to become reality. Over 7,000 new homes are planned in a variety of house styles to satisfy the needs of a growing community. The sites are located to the northwest and south of the town, and along with the homes will come a relief road and community facilities, including schools, shops, and a medical center. Planning approval has already been granted for a major distribution site to the south of the town with excellent links to key roads. The council has a can-do attitude is very much open for business. And if you decide to locate here, you'll find that you're in good company. National and international companies have decided to settle here, and they're pleased that they did. <coughs> I visited Totem, where Leanne Tapson told me about the company, Grantham's largest employer. Leanne, your business has expanded enormously since you and your co-founder started it more or less as a cottage industry near Grantham. Have you been able to do that largely by recruiting people in the Grantham area? Yes, we have, yes. We, we tend to have done all our um, major internal promotions and we, we train and we develop people in-house and we've built our business really on the people of Grantham. And because the school system is excellent and there's lots of affordable housing, um, it just enables us to grow. While I was at Totemic, I met Sam Kurtikar an unusual sort of rail commuter. Sam, I've heard it said in Grantham that the very quick rail link to London is an advantage for people living here, but you actually do the opposite. You travel from London to Grantham every day. Yeah, Why? absolutely. I travel in reverse, as it were. I live just around the corner from King's Cross, and it only takes me an hour and five minutes to get to Grantham. And not only am I avoiding all the traffic and all the, the horrible commute that I used to have in London, where it used to also take me 50 minutes to get to work, I managed to sit on a nice air-conditioned train as it were, really relaxed, but managed to do my work and um, I get here in no time whatsoever and then the, the office is only five, ten minutes from the station so whether I'm walking there's a shortcut or whether driving so it works absolutely perfectly. I popped into Moy Park to discover what attracted an international food distribution company to Grantham. Tony, Moy Park bought a business here, already a going concern. What's it been like doing business in Grantham quite a long way from your headquarters? It's been uh, good for us, for my part. It was our major step here into the UK. Uh, we are now uh, producing about 50% of our production uh, here in the Grantham area. We have an integrated business with the farms in the local community, so it's a very short supply chain into our added value factories here in Grantham. Uh, we have invested quite a bit in this factory in this last six months. Uh, and as a result of that, we've increased our employment here in Grantham by about 180 people. We would expect that to continue to grow in the coming year. Have you been able to find the sorts of people that you were looking for in the Grantham area? It's quite challenging to get good people in food sector generally. Uh, we have been successful here in Grantham to secure not only the quantity of people that we need, but the quality, and that's one of the stints this facility has. Find a town blessed with a mix of retail outlets that vary.
vary from specialist independent shops to well-known chain stores and a large out-of-town supermarket offering almost everything you can think of. And if it's quality of life you're looking for, look no further. Thank you. Like me, you'll get a warm welcome here. Grantham has relatively low property prices, lovely villages, low crime, and grammar schools that are very much alive and well. The Stephen and Grantham Girls School, where Margaret Thatcher was a head girl, has gained a reputation for consistently performing at the highest level and was judged as outstanding by Ofsted inspectors. The King's School, where Sir Isaac Newton was educated, is rooted in a rich history and seeks success at the highest level. From sport to music, the arts to forensic science, there's something for everyone. I dropped into the David Ross Education Trust and met Wendy Marshall, the Chief Executive, to find out why it chose Grantham as its headquarters. The David Ross Education Trust has schools in Yorkshire, Humberside, the east of England. What made you settle your HQ here in Grantham? Well, we've got 17 open academies and they, as you say, span from um, North Yorkshire to Northampton. It's a great venue that is um, of similar distance for everybody to travel. Our sponsor, David Ross, has offices in London and we meet the Department for Education quite regularly in London. So it's just over an hour on the train. It's absolutely perfect um, with a station on the doorstep and a fast service. If a business with a similar geographical spread to yours was looking to find a headquarters site, would you recommend Grantham? Um, I would. There is a good quality local workforce that we found, but equally people are willing to relocate to Grantham from other areas of the country. And this board behind us seems to carry the signatures of all the athletes from Team GB in the Olympics 2012. Indeed it does. Many of our students went to the Olympics. It was a fantastic experience. Our sponsor bought this board at the auction and here it is. It will ultimately go in our new free school in the Olympic Park, but meanwhile we're hoping uh, that it goes on a little roadshow around our open academies. But a great wall of inspiration, I call it. Fantastic. So there we have it. A town that's set to grow by 30% by the year 2026 with great connections to London, the North and the Midlands with beautiful villages, stately homes and high-performing schools. The case is irresistible. Why not visit www.granthamforgrowth.co.uk or better still, call 01476 406079 and arrange to visit yourself. Grantham is open for business and looks forward to your call.